Ladies and gentlemen, live from the Studio Orizzonte Gallery in Rome, Italy, the 2020 World Photography Cup Awards Ceremony! Photographic Cup Awards announcement. Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to be again with you three weeks after the World Photographic Cup announcement at Imaging USA. It was really exciting to see our best of nation images and top 10 images in each of the World Photographic Cup six categories. Each of these images and their creators have the chance to help their country win the World Photographic Cup 2021 or we can wait to present the next World Photographic Cup winners ceremony. So let's talk about that for a moment. Currently, the event is scheduled for April 19 in Rome, Italy. Of course, we knew that there was a big question mark over it, but we waited till the end, hoping that the circumstances in some way, albeit with all the due precautions and limitations, would make it possible to hold in the event in person. But things turn out and they still are running differently from our wishes. So we look at other plans for the event. Following the success that the announcement of last year had received from colleagues all over the world, I can officially announce that the ceremony 2021 will follow the same pattern. We will hold the WPC 2021 ceremony live streaming on Facebook again from the Studio Horizonte Gallery here in Rome on Monday, April 19, 2021 at 1900 Central European time. We will announce to the world who will grab the bronze, silver and gold medals in all of the six categories of the WPC 2021 competition the top 10 teams, and of course, the nation that will win the World Photographic Cup. Awaiting WPC Roma 2021, do not miss our WPC social media program shows. Actually, what you are watching now is the first episode of a series of prequel shows that will be online on the WPC Facebook page every two weeks always on Friday at 1900 Central European time. And to better explain the contents and finalities of this WPC social program, it is my pleasure to introduce WPC governing committee members, Bert Benke, speaking from Chicago, USA. Bert. Ciao Giuseppe. I'm looking forward to the day we can all be together in your beautiful city of Rome. But until then, I'm coming here from just outside Chicago to let you know about an exciting new program we're launching for the World Photographic Cup. Our WPC Board of Governors has developed a series of programs to highlight current and previous World Photographic Cup entrants, finalists, medalists, and judges to give you an idea of what goes into making the WPC competition among the best in the world. Every two weeks on Fridays, 
we will present a new episode of interviews by our committee members. You'll get to know some of the people who make those fantastic images, their processes, and inspirations. In the first episode, we'll interview a few of the judges that tell us what they look for in awarding the highest scores to images from all over the world. So plan on joining us on our Facebook page, World Photographic Cup, to experience the best of the best in photography from all over the world. Now back to Giuseppe in Rome, where I hope he's keeping my wine chilled and his famous carbonara recipe ready so that when I get there, we can eat well. Thank you, Bert. So don't forget to visit this Facebook page in the next weeks and do share our events on your personal Facebook profile, as well as on the pages of all involved associations around the globe. Now, as we heard, we will dedicate today's event to our judges who have the unique amazing responsibility to judge the images in competition and then to identify the winners. Remember, the basic rule of WPC, and I think also one of the key of our global recognition, is that each entrant team has the right to indicate a judge for the competition. This year, we had more than 30 judges from five different continents. But I will stop chatting now it's time to present a video created by Don McGregor, a member of the WPC Governing Committee and chairman of the WPC Judging Committee, who will highlight the judging process, starting from some hints on how the competition was born almost 10 years ago. Don is speaking from Vancouver, Canada, and it will be very interesting to hear what he has to tell us. Hello, my name is Don McGregor and I'm from Canada. I sit on the World Photographic Cup Governing Committee and also work closely on the Judging Committee with Jorn Brandt from Denmark, <coughs> Kylie Lyons from Australia, Naboro Okamoto from Japan, Tina Herring from Finland, and our Executive Officer Giuseppe Scotzi from Italy. Today we want to give you a brief history of how the World Photographic Cup evolved, the judging, the criteria for judging, scoring, and of course the awards and recognitions. The origin of WPC was a collection of dedicated photographers from Europe and North America gathering to discuss the potential of an Olympic-style image competition. No single person launched WPC. It was a collaborative effort between the Professional Photographers of America and the Federation of European Photographers. Teams traveled to FEP and PPA functions to explore the similarities in judging and the possible differences. All agreed that there was enough common principles in judging and evaluation between regions and cultures for the World Photographic Cup to become a reality. A team from FEP and PPA gathered in Gmunden, Austria in 2012 to form a governing committee that would steer the growth of the World Photographic Cup. Recognizing the biggest hurdle would be the actual judging process, a team gathered to contribute ideas that would recognize the unique style and processes of both European and North American judging. From this, the concept of four key criteria became a foundation that judges from all regions and cultures of the world could understand and appreciate. The following years were exciting and a learning process as committee members were added from the Pacific Rim, China to Australia. The governing committee constantly embraces ideas from all countries with a constant focus of image excellence and the team culture that all countries use to enhance their entries and their national pride, which of course is a cornerstone of Olympic-style competition. Categories are part of the photographic competition's process to allow for recognition of achievement. In our case, we award gold, silver, and bronze medals. There are six current categories with detailed descriptions and rules that assist judges in their evaluations. Category descriptions are available on the World Photographic Cup website, www.worldphotographiccup.org. Current categories are commercial, illustration, portrait, reportage, nature, and wedding. The judging process is a key component of the World Photographic Cup. Each image is scored four times by each judge using the following criteria. Image, Vision, Technical Excellence, and Composition. 
This allows judges to recognize the contribution of emotional response and storytelling while still recognizing the technical skills of photography. Impact is the sense of an emotion an image creates. How does the image impact or affect you? It is the first overall impression. While vision is similar, it is also quite unique. It is the visual language or expression a photographer uses to convey the concept and story of his vision. It recognizes the photographic contribution to the image and the relevance to the category. Technical excellence. This is your lighting, the posing, sharpness, retouching, color balance, and of course the Photoshop technique used for post-production. Composition is critical. Is the composition strong or possibly innovative? Is there a primary center of interest that establishes the image message? Do the elements and design elements contribute to that primary center of interest or the story being conveyed? Scoring. As I said, each image is scored four times by each judge in each of the four criteria. The scores are automatically averaged to be the image score and scores are done on a 100 point scale. Looking at the definitions, you'll see exceptional, superior, high quality, above average, and average. Each judge is encouraged to look at each of the criteria and define whether it is exceptional, superior, etc. If he feels that the composition is superior, his score should reflect 90 to 95. If the technical excellence is not superior, it is perhaps a level or two below, then use the level or two below for scoring. No score lower than a 65 can be entered, and no judge may score his or her own country's images. Individual awards. Digital certificates of participation will be given to all the individual team members. Best of Nation certificates will be given to the author of the highest scoring image from his or her country. All scores are compiled by computed results. Finalist certificates will be presented to the authors of the top 10 scoring images in each category. Gold, silver and bronze medals will be awarded to the first, second and third highest scoring image in each category. To follow up on this, if a photographer gets a gold medal, he contributes 10 points to his team's score. If he receives a silver medal, 9 points, bronze medal, 8 points, and so forth. Certificates will be awarded to the 4th to 10th place teams based on aggregate score. Trophies will be awarded to the 2nd and 3rd place teams based on aggregate score. The World Photographic Cup will be awarded to the national team which receives the high score based on aggregate score of the top 10 placement in all categories. We want to thank you on behalf of the World Photographic Cup Committee and the Judging Committee to taking a few minutes to listen to this and we wish your country the very best in future WPC competitions. Thanks Don for this very clear and complete explanation. So this is how the competition works and explains how each year the best images are in the running for the medals and contribute to the team total. With that, let me take just a moment and express once again our appreciations for all our amazing judges. There is nothing in the world like the World Photographic Cup, and we are very grateful to all our judges for their support of the worldwide photographic community. Now, it's time to speak with some of the 2021 WPC judges in an interview type format. But before to do that, let's have a look once again to a first collection of our 2021 Best of Nation images and their authors following the country's alphabetical order. So from Argentina, Luciano Andres Ricino. From Australia, Foros Yavari. From Austria, Claudia Ratzinger. From Belgium, Mark Valikan. From Brazil, Daniel Ribeiro. 
from Canada, Louis Philippe Travaux. From Chile, Ignacio Segura. From China, Min Zhu. From Costa Rica, Luis Solano Pocket. From the Czech Republic, Milos Nezesklep. From Denmark, Sandra Onshoi Boos. From Finland, Risto Raunio. From France, Nicolas Boutruche. From Greece, Julia Anna Gospodaru. From Guatemala, Anielo Garcia. From India, Aaron Lopez Pereira. From Ireland, Sinead Mirian. From Italy, Carlo Marchi. From Japan, Kazutoshi Kawakami. These magnificent images are a real feast for the eyes. And we hope that in the future, many more national teams will join us and will have the unique opportunity to show the best photographical skill and talent of their countries. We'll continue with our look at the best of national award winners a little later. And with that, let's move to the interviews of our judges. I will turn it over to WPC committee member Jan Poribny, who is speaking from Prague in the Czech Republic. Jan, from his studio, interviewed online two judges, one from North America and one from Europe. Enjoy. Hello. Let me introduce Anna Baudry, well-known photographer from Canada. She was nominated as the judge for WPC 2021. Headquartered in Vancouver, Canada, Anna is a professional photographer who caters to the corporate world. She creates modern, clean, and cohesive business portraits that are ideal for large-scale firms. She also photographs architecture for developers and big businesses across Canada, bringing creativity and energy while retaining a professional and personable approach is Anna's signature. She has spent years developing systems and has a qualified team to provide a full service experience for businesses nationwide. Her integrity and skills have positioned her as the go-to for corporate headshots and architectural photography. Anna received a Master of Photography degree from PPA and is a certified professional photographer. She is accredited in environmental business portraits and in architecture through the Professional Photographers of Canada, PPOC. Yeah. So well, welcome, Anna. Uh, it's nice to have you here uh, as you. the judge for WPC 2021 and well-known uh, Canadian photographer. And let's talk a bit about your WPC judging, please. Uh, what do you think uh, takes an image into the special category of exceptional? Uh, well, I, I would say that initially huge impact. So when, the, when I see the image for the first time, um, it's got huge impact, but then it, it keeps getting better the more I look at it. So it's backed up by strong technical skills and it also has an intriguing story that really holds my interest. Um, and also some, something I haven't seen before. So something new visually that, that challenges my eye, challenges my brain, challenges what I already know about photography. Great, yeah. And how long have you been judging? Um, I've been judging about 10 years now. Yeah. 
So you have been judging also in different competitions. Uh... Um, yes, I got my training in judging um, through the Professional Photographers of Canada. They hold um, a judging training clinic every year. And also um, hugely valuable was uh, listening to PPA, which is Professional Photographers of America, listening to their live judging. So their judging is live streamed. So sitting in and listening is hugely, hugely valuable. And also, um, uh, yeah, I'm getting print critiques. So when I enter my images and I, I ask for uh, the judges to critique my images, that's also hugely valuable. Great, yeah. And uh, where did you get your education or training that you use in judging? You actually mentioned this, yes. Yeah? So you were educated first uh, in some, uh, um, let's say, uh, high school or academy, uh, etc. Before or well, uh, actually, I, I um, have no formal school training in photography. It's just always been in my blood, and uh, I pursued a career in it very early. So my training was all hands-on, assisting other photographers, um, taking specialized courses. And of course, now uh, with the internet, when I started, there was no internet. <laughs> so now with the internet, uh, it's very easy to keep, um, you know, leveling up my skills. Good. Yeah, I understand. And if you have been judging WC in previous years, can you compare it with WPC 2021? Um, well, I only judged the one year. So I curated uh, for Team Canada, I curated the entry and in 2020. And then I went on to be the representative for Canada on the International Judging Committee for 2020. Um, so the, I only have the one year to you know access in terms of experience with WPC so I can't really speak to 2021 I wasn't involved okay but you can compare it how team uh, of Canada was was developing or, or do you feel that there was difference between uh, oh, what they what they uh, prepared for I understand yeah in in participation for sure there was a lot more um uh energy and excitement uh, every year it's increased so the um it, it's it, and it's been so thrilling to watch our team canada move up in standings through the years and and the excitement has been increasing um and i think you know this year uh we we climbed from having no images uh placing to having four artists in the top 10 this year so you can, it's a, it's a, it's a great learning opportunity. You know, we just strive, like the people that enter just strive to um, excel. Yeah, that sounds very promising and good. Can you recognize interesting progress in some categories? Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. The, um, the area of composites, it, it, it's probably the, the quickest evolving area in, in photographic judging. And it's, it's next to impossible, as you know, to be judging such different images, you know, ones that are shot entirely in camera and others that are created in post-production. So like the approaches and the execution are completely different and they take completely different skill sets to accomplish. I mean, you still need the basics of, you know, having vision, impact, composition and, and technical excellence, of course, but the, the, the approach is different. So having composites in a, in a category um, separate of, of their, own, uh, their own category, it just really makes, um, it levels the, the playing field and, and I think creates a, um, some fairness um, in the judging, but it's, it's, it's been tricky to address that. And if you see such a massive post-production and digitally manipulated images, so do you think that we are still talking about photography? Oh, of course. It's just an evolution. I mean, it's. I mean, where, where do you? Where can you draw the line, right? <laughs> um, in the beginning of photography, like 
we're not all using wet plates and um, silver and you know where some some use film some use pixels some shoot it all straight in camera some some use photoshop so it's really uh we're just adding that to the skill set to the toolbox yeah but i mean that if if you see that some photographers are more or less sitting beside a computer uh, more than shooting yeah so it's 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 not a real photography at all, but uh, I agree with you that it's a technical development. Mm -hmm. Well, they still would have had to capture those components that they're using in their digital manipulations. So there still would be photography at the base of it. And it, yes, it is evolving into something that, um, you know, sparks some great discussion about what, you know, is it still photography or, or, <laughs> or is it not? Everywhere is the same question. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, are, are you missing some of your favorites among the WPC finalists? Have you seen uh, uh, the final images? Um, I Maybe. have, and oh gosh, they're just all so strong. I, I've got to say that when I judged um, in 2020, it was such a delight to be able to sit at my uh, computer and uh, it. it I spread it out over several days, of course, because there's so many images. And it was just, it was the highlight of my day to sit down and, and take in all of these amazing images. And to be, um, uh, I was blown away by the sheer diversity of visioning and execution and style and different messages from all the different countries. It was, it was a real delight. To, to wake up and, and start my day um, looking at all these amazing images uh, and it, a lot of them uh, outside of what I'm used to seeing. Um, so the, the collection this year, uh, it, it, it's the same. It, I had the same experience looking through the finalists, you know, just such diversity and really interesting storytelling. Um, I can't see anything that's missing other than I, I would have loved to see more Team Canada. <laughs> Of course, you you are a very successful team, yeah. So we are uh, we would like to have such a, such a uh, success as as the Canada did in last years. Uh, so I think uh, that's that's what we would like to ask you. Uh, and uh, thank you for for your time. And we are hoping uh, to see you maybe next year as the judge. Hmm. And uh, if you would like to add something, uh, still to some comment to your judging, uh, uh, yeah, please go ahead. Well, thank you very much, Jan. I, I appreciate your words and I, I appreciate the uh, um, opportunity to participate in this. I, so the first year that I was involved, I was, um, you know, thinking, oh, it's just another competition you know I, I enter in many there's in different parts of the world and within my own country and I thought oh this is just another competition and I was really struck by um the the component that I hadn't counted on and that's um like the the team spirit of of being involved with my country so that like being feeling very patriotic and coming together as a team for a, a united goal was just, I, I'd never experienced that before. I'm getting goosebumps right now just talking about it. I'd never experienced that before. I'd never been in any kind of world competition. I'm not an athlete. So to experience that, so valuable. So I'm, I'm so grateful to have this uh, competition continuing on and with such success. So um, thank you to all the people that make it happen. Thank you very much, Anna. Have a nice time and uh, see you maybe next year. I hope maybe, so. Let's, yeah. let's hope. Let's hope it will be live in Rome. Uh, what oh. we are planning all, all, already for two years and uh, the pandemic, everything uh, a little bit uh, post open now. Yeah, it's a bit complicated time now. It certainly but is. We have hopefully. to. We have to believe that it will be much more better. Hope so. Have a nice okay, time. Well. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.
<laughs> Let me introduce my good friend and colleague, uh, Zdenil Hotak, Master of Art, who was nominated as the judge for WPC 2021. He works as a freelance photographer, organizer, and educator. He studied at the Faculty of Physical Education and Sport and in the field of art photography at the Academy of Fine Arts at Faculty of Film and Television called FAMU. In his commercial work, he focuses mainly on the photography of food in collaboration with top food stylists. In other topics, portrait, architecture, product, and documentary photography, he prefers the form of an artistic abbreviation with a significant emotional effect. His interest in sports photography culminated in winning the second prize in the 1986 World Press Photo Competition for the Spartakiad Photography Series. In 2003, he received the prestigious QEP Quality Certificate from the Federation of European Professional Photographers in the field of food photography. He published several books related to his art projects and to the sport. For example, a recently published book about golden era of famous Czech football team Sparta. He's a leading member of the Association of Professional Photographers of the Czech Republic and Photo Forum Prague. He's teaching photography at Higher Vocational School Michael in Prague. Hello, Zdeněk. Let's talk Hello. about your WPC judging, please. Hello, friends. Uh, greetings from Prague. Okay. Uh, what do you think? takes an image into the special category of exceptional. Sorry, I will speak Czech. My opinion on a good, great photo is that it must, above all, be exceptional. In terms of content, I perceive photography as a mental process. It means that originality is above all in the message that is most important to me and of course, maintaining the basic technical parameters or the highest standard of technical parameters. Well, and how long have you been judging? I have been evaluating photographs for almost 40 years. Initially, I evaluated only my photographs but gradually as a part of my engagement in FEP, in Federation of European Professional Photographers, and in my pedagogical process. I had to learn and adapt my perception to the photographs of others and judge photographs within the WPC and applicants for the QEP certificate. QIP. Perfect. And where did you get your education or training uh, that you use in judging? I studied art photography at the Academy of Fine Arts at Faculty of Film and Television called FAMU in Prague, and before that at the Faculty of Physical Education and Sport. But it more or less equipped me only physically for this profession, and at the same time I work for 40 years and continue to work in several fields of photography, seemingly too different as commercial photography and free art photography may seem. Within commercial photography, I mainly deal with food photography, as you have already said before. But I do not oppose other types of assignments, because from my point of view, a professional photographer must be able to implement every assignment. If you have been judging WPC in the previous years, can you compare it with WPC 2021? From my point of view, the works were on average at the same level. But if I look at, at specific photographs and perceive them within the categories, I feel that a rather sharp increase in quality was reflected in the nature category. This is probably a logical consequence of the development of photographic technology. The possibilities 
that today's technology allows when evaluating it within the framework of their experience are completely unique. Recording quality, optics quality, and so on. Another factor that affects this quality is the great interest of the media in this topic. Today, nature appears in virtually every magazine, and not only magazine, but also in video and film. A register that quite original approaches have appeared in many categories. From my point of view, they are always more valuable than very demanding technical processing in the form of composite images or post-production. Uh, can you recognize some interesting progress in uh, some categories? I have already answered this question a bit. And I have mentioned the category of nature. But in many other categories, there is a frequent solution in the form of technically complicated composite images. This is partly related as in nature to the media's interest in such perfect photography. And many photographers use these technical possibilities to make nice post-production images. From my point of view, although the number of photographs is constantly increasing, I prefer the original approach without the big demanding arrangements, which are, from my point of view, as I said, more of technical process than a mental one. Well, uh, that's what I wanted to ask you. If you see such a massive post-production and digitally manipulated images, do you think that we are still talking about photography? It's a part of photography. The technique but I see it is a necessary development. I appreciate a more simple solution, in which the emphasis is on originality, a new way of seeing, perceiving, and so on. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your time. And we are hoping to see you maybe next year as the judge again. It was Zdeněk Hotak from Prague, member of Association of Professional Photographers of the Czech Republic and uh, judge of WPC 2021. Thank you, Zdeněk. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jan, and to our national judges from Canada and Czech Republic. Very good job. And before going to our last interviews of the evening, we'll continue with our look at the best of the national award winners, which is the highest scoring image from each participating country. We we'll start back with Mexico, Carlos Carrillo. From the Netherlands, Martin Wouters. From New Zealand, Amber Griffin from Norway, Natalia Pipkina from Pakistan, Nadem Ahmed Buta from Panama, Diego Sedeno from Peru, Pedro Yarke Krebs from the Philippines. Shewin Maxino from Poland Simon Sieptokowski from Portugal Diamantino Jesus from Russia Alexander Koklov 
from Saudi Arabia, Mofed Abu Saliwa. From Singapore, Swissing Vincent Lim. From Slovakia, Daniel Zakar. From Spain, Jonathan Evia. From Sweden, Stephanie Anderson. From the United Kingdom, Tracy Lund. From the United States, Andrew Sotrisno. And from Venezuela, Francis Goncalves. So once again, congratulations to all of our Best of National War winners. Very impressive work. It's now time to get down to the business of announcing the next interview. It's time to go into the deep north, meeting with Anna Kaleva Zaglas in Finland. Anna is the executive officer of the FEP, the Federation of European Professional Photographers, and also a member of the governing committee as WPC advisor. Anna lives in Finland and she interviewed a young and talented lady photographer who acted as a judge in our last competition. Please join us watching her video. Hello, US. As you know, this is an episode of our broadcast where we meet some of the judges of the WPC. Joining me is not only a lovely lady, but also a very talented photographer and a very perceptive judge, Mikaela Holmberg from Finland. Welcome, Mikaela. Thank you. So let's start with a short introduction. Tell me a bit about yourself and what kind of photography you do. Yes, well, um, what I love to do is fine art. That's kind of where my heart based. I do fine art photography, but I also do commercial work at the moment. But I would say fine art is what I, I am. I love doing conceptual things where you can just let your imagination just go wild and do whatever you feel like it. Um, that's what I do. And I've been working as a photographer for about half of my adult life soon. And that's about 17 years, maybe about. So I've seen a lot. I've been around. <laughs> I've seen this. I've seen the change from analogic to digital and all the challenges and new opportunities that, that has brought to the field and it's been really interesting and um, yeah that's I have a long history of photography so it's yeah what so I so you've been a photographer for quite some time how about judging how long you've been doing that well ever since 2012 I've been judging for being a head judge as well. I, I judged the Finnish national championships ever since 2012. And then I was head judge for that for a few years. And then I've also have judged the Swedish championships and Norwegian championships. So I have a lot of experience from being a judge and it has taught me a lot. I also have competed myself quite a lot, so I have experience from both sides. I, I know what it, what it takes to do a competition image, and uh, I know how it feels to be a competitor, and I also know how the judge looks at an image, so it's, it's good to have the both, both sides. Yeah, that brings me to the next point. What are the things that you as a judge look in an image? What makes image A better than image B, for example? Well, the number one thing that I look for is impact. That's what this makes the decision for me. Like, is this worth extra time or not? So to say, uh, impact is most important. And then, of course, technique, because this usually is professional competitions. So technique has a big role in the final image so it's the it's the balance of the two like does it have an impact 
is it technically well made and then one really important thing is expression does it stir up any emotion like if it's just a really well made image but it's just shallow and has nothing to give then that's not enough i think that's interesting i mean wpc had a lot of entries this year a lot of images so i can imagine you've seen a lot there yeah <laughs> I've seen a lot. Uh, are there some images that stayed in your mind that like did your personal favorite for example make it to the finals you don't need to tell me what your favorite was but you know when you think back at them well when i think back at the images there were so many so amazing images it was really a challenge to judge because all of them deserves like <laughs> all right so it was like ah oh, what do i do uh but it was really great to see that many of my favorites was in the finals so i'm really happy about that but there were so many the the quality of the images and the like is really high so it was really hard to make the difference which one is better so we'll see in what was it is it 19th of april that we'll have the finals that we'll see how those yeah. images do then yeah. yeah do you have any final words for people who are thinking of taking part in competitions that from a judge's point of view what what should you think about when placing your images in that well first of all i would just say that please do compete try it don't be too scared i know it's scary it might be scary to because people are scared of critique, but it's a really good way to see where you stand as a photographer. And it really makes you uh, challenge yourself and it makes you a better photographer because even though you, your image would not make it, make it so to say, it's still a big step to enter because you have to deal with the fear. You have to deal with the fear of being critiqued. You have to deal with a lot of, emotional things so to do it anyway and not let the fear determine your life that's kind of important and then if you succeed then that gives a lot of motivation to continue your development as a photographer i think it is scary but it's worth it you should do it <laughs> thanks Michaela. those are really wise words for the all the photographers watching there thanks again for dedicating your time for this hope to see you again soon thank you bye, bye. Thanks, Anna and Michaela. You did a terrific job. And that was our last interview for tonight. I'm sure that you now better understand the rules of the judging and the motivations for high scoring an image. It will help all future interns to get the best results on our one of a kind photographic competition. I'd like to thank once again all the colleagues which contributed to this episode at the in order of appearance bert benke the coordinator of the program our judging committee chairman don mcgregor our committee members jan poribni and anna kalevat saglas and our national judges anna bodri zdenek lotak and michaela holmberg i also like to thank our editing director Mimo Basile for his incredible support. Remember, a second episode of Waiting for Roma 2021 will be online on this WPC Facebook page on Friday 26, again at 1900 CAT. We will introduce some of the WPC finalist authors and their beautiful images. The WPC is the place to be. We have a lot of talent here just waiting to be exposed to the world. So thanks for watching. And on behalf of the entire World Photographic Cup Committee, goodbye from the Studio Horizonte Gallery in Rome, Italy. Ciao. Welcome to our 7 War Photographic Cup Awards announcement.